Hey, <clears throat> welcome to my iPhone 12 review of the camera. So I've already done the review of the phone itself. It should be live. You can see the link out here. And I'm out here in a nice, beautiful secret location. I cannot disclose. You got a nice paddy field back in there and some beautiful mountains back there and a river back there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's go forward and check it out. So this I am shooting with the front facing camera. It's a bit shaky, not stabilized. Well, that is to be expected. And I'm directly recording onto the microphone on the phone itself. I have nothing attached to me. So let me know what do you think about the front camera and we'll do a deep dive in a bit on this. Oh, wait, the river right up ahead. Oh, there you can see it. It's flowing like that upstream and that is downstream back there. Welcome back to the studio. We are still recording on the iPhone 12 and still using the rare microphone on the iPhone itself. Uh, let's take a quick look at some of the photos that I shot at the same location. Uh, these are going to be JPEGs and some RAWs which I shot using Halite Mark II. I'll leave uh, the link for the app down in the description. You can go check it out. Really solid app. And I'll mark the photos, the JPEGs and the RAWs separately. So you get a better idea. All right, let's get started with it. Okay, so the first image is a RAW image of the landscape. And as you can see, this is the JPEG that is processed by the same engine. Same thing followed up a RAW image. And this is the processed image. I don't really like the colors that Apple provides. So this is the edited raw image that I processed myself. Back to a raw image of a vertical landscape this time. And this was around sunset. So you can see the pink magenta colors in the sky. And this is just around golden hour. And you can see the deep reds in the sky. As you can see throughout the various shots that I've clicked, uh, both the JPEG performance, the standard bitmap performance is excellent and so is the raw performance. Now iOS 14.3 is out as uh, on like today, it's already out, ProRes Raw is out, Austin Man, wait I hope I got his name correct, but anyways Austin has his own review, I'll link it down in the description, the creators of Halide. Uh, ben and Sebastian have their own review about it. I'll leave it down in the description. So far, it looks like an excellent format. So if you have the iPhone 12 Pro, definitely give it a shot. And a quick comparison between the RAW and the HEIC image. Uh, this is the exact same shot, same file. I've just uh, processed it using the instant feature from Halide. And this is how they look side by side. So overall, uh, now remember that 
a little bit of highlights own processing is coming through here uh, when we are doing this comparison but as far as i can tell uh, if we zoom in at a hundred percent yes of course you can start noticing the missing details but if you're zoomed out at a fit to screen mode uh, well you don't and which is good because most of the photos that we will click on our iPhones are mostly going to social media and uh, rarely is anyone using their iPhone 12 or 12 mini to shoot professionally. Now I understand if someone is using their iPhone 12 Pro or Pro Max to shoot professionally. I mean even if you're using the iPhone 12 that's not an issue if you can do that. Cheers and if you are watching this video leave a comment down below I'd love to chat with you. Let's talk about video. So I'm at the same location as we were before and I'm just walking and this is the ultra wide lens on the iPhone 12 and it captures a lot. Do remember that you can turn off uh, the lens profile corrections in the uh, camera settings in the settings app. So if you want that and you want to do the lens corrections in post processing, you can do that or you can have that directly baked into the file itself. Now I know that this location is beautiful and you're just in awe at how wonderful it looks on your screens right now hopefully it looks good but uh, one thing to remember is that the iPhone 12s I believe uh, starting from the 10s the iPhones can record in stereo mode or was it the iPhone 11 anyways so the iPhones record uh, audio in stereo mode which is excellent and as you can see here you're getting almost a surround sound effect as I'm walking and the birds chirping and the other ambient noises. So really, really solid. Let's take a quick look at some time lapses that I shot and as you watch these time lapses do note that time lapses are limited to 1080p at 30 frames per second. This one has been conformed to the 24p timeline that I'm using. And just as we moved into the studio for this video, I mentioned that I'm using the microphone directly from the phone itself and it sounds great. It sounds bloody great. So kudos to all the Apple engineers who worked on the audio algorithms for this phone. Brilliant job. So overall, this is one of the best camera systems on a mid-tier phone and yes, the iPhone 12 can be considered as a mid-tier phone within its own lineup because the high-end tiers are that of the iPhone 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max. So the regular cameras on the 12 and 12 Pro are the same. Uh, you only get a bump up and benefit with the telephoto lens in that camera system and obviously the ProRes RAW but the ProRes RAW is not something that affects video which was I believe I mean I didn't intend it to be that way but it turned out to be one of the uh, highlighted uh, aspects of this particular video review so yeah for video the iPhone 12 is great and if you're looking to record in 4k 60p HDR this is a solid choice I mean I'll just have the links to buy the phone down in the description if you still haven't bought it uh, those are affiliate links so I get a small kickback so hey overall, yes, Nick, I, you're forgetting something what am I forgetting didn't fit at all a special segment for this review we did what? Yeah. All right. Oh yes, I am so sorry guys. So we did something special. Let's have a look.
Well, what do you think? So we uh, strapped the iPhone 12 onto a custom made drone and it's using the same shoulder pod mount that I'm currently using. So I'll leave the link for that in the description if I can find it because I bought that when I bought my iPhone 6 and it has served me really, really well. And what can I say? I am just really, really impressed with what the iPhone 12 can do. And yeah, I am most likely not ever going to get this phone replaced or changed or exchanged. I mean, as long as the cameras are working fine, I'll just keep using it. I don't think I need to say anything more and uh, you've seen the results for yourself. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, you know what to do. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. And a big, big thanks to my friend Kanji, who was the drone pilot. Uh, we have the full BTS video also coming up shortly and go check it out when that goes online. So it has a lot of behind the scenes on how the drone was set up and made and a quick introduction to him as well. So he was the real champion and the real uh, muscle behind the, this review. So a huge thanks to him. Go check out his Instagram profile. I'll leave it down in the description. Thank you for watching. Cheers.